In 1979, history was made when Mercedes released the Galandewagen, or G-Wagon, by which it has become widely known. The G-Wagon has become something of a status symbol and has been sought after by many celebrities, such as Drake, the Kardashians, and even the Pope in 1980 had one specially made for him, known as the Pope Mobile, aka Papa G. Today, we take a look at this modified AMG G63 and see what's been added to this gorgeous exterior. Now there's one thing I absolutely despise about this G63. We look inside the car and check out the noise of those mean menacing side exhausts. Then to finish up we jump in the car to check out what kind of power this G63 has to offer. I want one. Oh my gosh. Today is an exciting episode because I think this G63 AMG could be one of the best bargain buy modified SUVs. And I'm gonna tell you why. For starters, this is up for 139,500 pounds. A brand new one from Mercedes-Benz, spec with a night package is 157K. So already you're making about 18K saving. Let's go through some of the features of this. Urban Automotive have had a little play. The wrap is khaki green from Inozatec and it has some big beastie 23 inch UC1s on the side, around 1600 excluding VAT. We'll have a look at those in a moment. But look at this, it's got an aftermarket bull bar. Mercedes don't offer a bull bar as an option. And it just looks so much better on the car with the bull bar. It's like clothes, isn't it? Some people look better with them off. Some put look better with them on, and this definitely looks better with it on. It's got a Panamericana grille, which we saw debuted back in 2016 with the AMG GTR, and it looks aggressive. It's like prison bars, isn't it? It referenced bad things. It's like, I want to chomp you up. Gorgeous. Right, let's go around the side. These are the wheels I was talking about. These Urban Automotive 23 inches. Now, Mercedes, standard on a Generation 2, 22 inches. On a Gen 1, 20 inches. So you're, all getting, you're already getting more for your buck with this car. It's, oh, the color's brilliant. The khaki green against the gloss black. You've got these gorgeous foot runners here, these wide fenders. Got these gorgeous, burly, aggressive exhausts. And we'll have a little listen to those later on. Let's come around the side of the car. Mercedes have done a few subtle changes with the Generation 2 that I really like, that I think are fantastic. For example, these lights, they just sit more flush the old gen they look stuck on and they stuck on a stupid sensor here which just look nasty and crude now they've hidden it away and when you reverse it pops out automatically now there's one thing i absolutely despise about this g63 i hate it and i'm going to let you know what that is later on but next up let's check out the interior this g63 is amazing and if you think so too let's have an early like what me and Adam have noticed on our channel is that 98.5% of our viewers aren't from our subscribers and we're hoping that you could change that by just giving a little jab on the subscribe button right now. Come with us on our journey, on our quest to find cool cars so you can be notified immediately of our next upload. Now let's talk about this cool interior inside this g-wagon and i am greeted with oodles of headspace look how much headspace i have i'm 511 and i have loads of room mercedes yes this is what you do best i'm a gadget guy i'm a techie guy i love this screen this infotainment is superb it's splendid it ticks all the boxes for me and i've got the dash on the sport setting at the moment i like the dial i like the typeface the numerical value is slightly italic give me a racy edge leather dash we've got this handlebar which reference is the old ones that's always been on there great for the passengers to hold on to when you're going over the the four by four undulations of the road you've got the locking differentials here three a central one a rear one and a front one should you need them Let's talk about the, the leather. Look at this. This is from a cow that has been slapped so hard, it's turned that color shade red and they've put it in this G-Wagon. I'm not sure if it's my choice, but I can see the, the red works. The finest Nappa leather, they're comfy, they're plush. You've got like a rhombus design quilted on those leather seats. 
The cup holders are here from the Gen 1. You had that weird netty thing down there and the cup holders were in the, the glove box. That's been done away with the, with the Gen 2, 2019 this car. Steering wheel's great. Dynamica, suede on the side, carbon fiber elements, the headliner, all Dynamica. Great, 100% recyclable. The front to me has been fantastic. Let me know what you think about the front in the comments. It's time to check out the rear cabin space and see what it's like for the passengers. So I'm gonna jump in the back right now. So I've just jumped into the rear part of this vehicle, this AMG G63, and I am so impressed with the headspace. I know I said that about that in the front, and the headliner, the dynamic of suede, it, it, it's amazing, it feels so good. It really stepped up that luxurious element of this G-Wagon. Now, it's got a few more inches, I think six inches more than the Gen 1 leg room. Headroom's good, you can easily fit three people on this, and you know in some cars you've got this horrible hump. With this you don't. There's a little bit of a raise for the person who's sitting in the middle, I'm just gonna slide over, just to show you, but you can easily get a third person sitting here and two people either side. So you could fit three meat heads with ease, you know, if they're not too muscular like me. But the space is good. The only thing I would say is in comparison to a Porsche Cayenne or a Bentley Bentayga, which I've been in recently, it's definitely not as spacious. But if I'm in this AMG G63, I wanna be in the front. Right. Now onto something I absolutely hate. Let's go around to the boot. Shut this door. Cool privacy glass though. You couldn't see me in there, could you? Right, let's have a look at it. 677 litres of boot space. It's a heavy thing. Oh my gosh. So I've got to come back from the supermarket. I've got to put my shopping bags down and open this door. Why is there not an electric power tailgate option to swing it open? I'm not asking to, for Mercedes to design something that opens it fully, but just open it a little bit, a little bit of a jar, and then I can use my hand. They do it with every other luxury SUV. It's the only thing the G-Wagon doesn't offer. And you might say, oh, it doesn't go with its aggressive nature of the car, its boxy quadratic style. It's meant for, you know, strength and muscular people, but no. I want an electric operated door to help me out with my shopping bags. So that's the one thing I hate. I'd love to know what you think. Yeah, inside the door, it's quite nice. You've got this rhombus quilted leather, plenty of space behind me. But Mercedes, if you're listening, get this door power assisted with some electrical motor or something. Now what we've all been waiting for, those side exhausts. Let's listen to them roar. Soft limmer on that, four and a half thousand revs. But let us know your thoughts. Right, time to see what this G63 can do on the road. Let's have a look at the stats. Right, we're in the G63, let's feel that power. Ooh, oh, I can feel the front lift. <laughs> I want one. Oh my gosh. Oh, if I had 139k, this would be mine. I'd snap this up today. That transition of power, that, that feeling like the front, the front lifted was so good. How does that feel when you put your foot down? Scary. Scary. I love it. Scary. I love the seat in position, how you're looking down, you can see the whole bonnet. I think that's so cool, that noise! Oh, give me more, give me more! I love the noise of that exhaust. It's so, the, the ride height of the vehicle, looking down on the bonnet, it's incredible. You've got the privacy glass, no one can see you. This car's immense. Mate, I love the lift, that feeling of what, when you put your foot down, whoa, yes! <laughs> I love it, it's so cool. I've got the bug, I'm addicted to the G63 now. This car, it, it just ticks so many boxes. It looks good. Like this, the infotainment is in incredible. Mercedes just do the best. It's just simplistic, it works. You can see everything and it's big. Oh, that power, yes. 
<laughs> That's good. I love the uh, boxy design. It's so cool. What do you think about all the angles? Are you more of a curvy man? No, I like the angles. It's just old school, isn't it? You can't beat old school. It's old school like, with a modern twist, isn't it? Because you've got all the entertainment and it looks so cool. There's nothing out there that looks like this SUV-wise, oh, like, like boxy. What I like G-Wagon is, is they have not changed the old diff lock. Everything yeah, yeah. Always Still got three same. diff locks. Yeah, I think better than the Bentayga. So to summarize our episode on the AMG G63, we've done an exterior walk around. We've seen what Urban have done to the car. We've had a little look inside the car and that great infotainment screen and those red leather seats. And we've taken it on the road to feel that power. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I love this car. I love it a lot more than what I thought I would. And what I wanna know is, do you love this car? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to throw us a like, get subbed, and we'll see you on the next one.